<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. Let me catch my breath. I was just running around my house. <laughs> um, today, I'm going to be sharing, as you can tell by the title and description, this is my second gift guide, and it will be about all things home related. Um, I'm really excited for this one. I have a lot of really good home items to share. And there's also quite a few um, items in this live that are things I personally have on my wish list and that I'm fingers crossed, hoping that I will get for Christmas. Um, so I'll definitely be sharing those because I think they're great gift ideas or even if you just wanna buy something for yourself. Um, as always, everything will be 15% off during this live stream and you can preview all the items I will be sharing by going to the icon with the four squares in it, like the circle with the four squares on the right side of your screen. I will only be presenting one item at a time. So if there's something you wanna see or if you can't stay for the whole time, click on that icon and you can see everything and all of the discounts that you can get. And the 15% off deal as always will last the entire live stream as well as 30 minutes after. So it'll last basically until 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So with all the items I have here today, I, I honestly think home items make such a great gift because everyone loves home decor and also everything I have to share is like neutrals um, and they won't like, they'll match like everyone's style in my opinion because they are neutral, they will match everything. And nothing I'm sharing today is really like something that would need to be customized or, you know, anything like that. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with kind of all the kitchen related things and then everything else is just like decor for the rest of the house, basically. So the first item from the kitchen I'll share is this Milo by Kana Classic Dutch Oven. The one I'm presenting you is the blue one. I actually have the white one, um, which looks the exact same, just white. I just don't have it in here right now because I used it um, to cook my dinner last night and I haven't cleaned it yet. I've been procrastinating on that. But anyways, this is the Milo by Kana Classic Dutch Oven. You can get it for $86 on this live. So pretty good deal. It's a five and a half quart size, I believe. So perfect for someone who lives on their own or a small family or a couple people living in an apartment. Um, it's a perfect size to make a meal. Um, and you don't need like a big Dutch oven to have to clean afterwards. This color, this blue color that I presented to you, I believe is um, exclusive to Vera Shop. So you won't find this color anywhere else. It is a very cool blue color. I personally lean more towards neutrals, which is why I got the white one. But I believe the white and black are both unavailable right now. I don't know if those will come back in stock or if not, but this one is in stock right now and it is a unique color. So if you know anyone that is looking for a Dutch oven or loves this color, I would say go for it. Um, again, you do get that deal. I believe it's already on sale. So you get a double discount. So it's $86 right now. Um, a Dutch oven, I feel like, is something, it's not, I wouldn't say it's an essential in the kitchen, so it's not something that people buy right away when they move into a new place, so I think it's a great gift to give someone, you know, they won't have to buy a Dutch oven later down the line when they decide they want to cook something with a Dutch oven, they already have it. Um, and like I said, I have the white one, and I live in a small apartment, so I don't actually have room for mine in, like, my cabinets or drawers so I just leave mine out on the stovetop and it looks really nice maybe I'll post a picture um to my profile sometime to show you but I just leave it out on my stovetop and if I and if I need to use the stovetop I'll just move it off to the counter and then move it back afterwards and it just looks super cute um so yeah that's the Milo Baikana classic Dutch oven the next kitchen item I'm going to share is something I don't actually have, but it is on my wish list and I really want it. It's this Fellow Stag electric kettle in black. First of all, it's such a sleek 
modern design. It would look so gorgeous just sitting on your counter, which is why I want it because it just looks so nice. I feel like some tea kettles can be, I don't want to say ugly, but they just don't look nice sitting out. And I prefer if something's sitting out on the counter for it to look nice, you know, like I love functional decor. So that's something that fellow is really known for and prides himself on is having, you know, the aesthetic and functionality and this electric kettle hits both spot on. Um, it is a little pricey, originally $159. You can get it for $135 with my live stream deal. Um, it is an electric kettle, so it's not one that you put on your stove and heat up. It's one you just plug in. And what I love about this one is that it comes with like an LED screen to show you the temperature. And I believe you can actually set the temperature. So I just really like this. I'm not a big tea drinker. I'm trying to get more into teas and whatnot. I just, I think because I don't have a kettle, I just haven't been drinking tea. And when I do, I microwave the water and it's just not as good. Um, so that's why I haven't been drinking tea a lot, but I do have a lot of loose leaf teas that tell you you should brew it for three to four minutes at this temperature. So having an electric kettle like this, where you can actually set the temperature is going to be awesome. Um, again, a great gift. I think a kettle is not really the first thing someone would buy for their kitchen, for their apartment or home. So it's nice to be able to give that to someone so they don't have to deal with it later down the line. Um, and like I said, this is on my wish list, and I'm really hoping to get this. And if I do, I'll be sure to come back with my review on it in person. So that's the Fellow Stag Electric Kettle. The next kitchen item is again something I do not have, but that is on my personal wish list this year, and it is this Beast Blender. Again, a blender I don't really use a lot. The one I have is one of those like big Cuisinart ones that just, it's not really, it's hard to use those when you're just making something for one person because then they're so annoying to clean and I just, I don't make smoothies because I don't want to deal with that, but I love smoothies and shakes. So what I love about this Beast Blender is that it's small, it just, it's perfect for one person and I believe the top part can come off and serves as a cup so that you blend it all up and then you can just take it off and drink it right out of there so you're not dirtying, dirtying too many dishes. It's very easy to clean um, <clears throat> and would really make a great gift for anyone. A smoothie lover, the health nut, like anyone. I feel like a blender is a staple in your kitchen, but again, it's not something people would buy right away. And this one also just looks really sleek and modern, so it would be something nice to keep out on your counter like it wouldn't disrupt things like those huge blenders do. It is a little pricey, um, $155, but you can get it for $131. I think it's worth it. Um, again, I've never used the Beast Blender before, so if anyone has, let me know. Um, I've just heard really good things about it. Um, and I really want this, so I think it would make a great gift for anyone, especially if you know someone who is looking for a new blender or who has just moved into a space, they might not have bought a blender yet. So that would be a great gift. So the next item I'm going to share for the kitchen is something I do have. Now getting into things I do have. And it is this floor nine small marble board and cheese knife. So unfortunately it does look like it is sold out, but it is originally $28. So even not on sale, it's a great deal. Um, but I really like this board. It's pretty small. As you can see, it's basically the size of my hand. It's marble, so it's pretty heavy and you know, it's sturdy. Um, and underneath it, we have like these like little feet. So it'll help protect not just the board itself, but also whatever surface you put it on. And it prevents this from sliding around, which is nice because especially if you have food on it, you don't want this sliding around and dropping things everywhere. And I also love this cheese knife that it came with. It's just so cute. It matches perfectly. It's just like a gold cheese knife. Um, with like, there is like a detailing on the handle. I don't know if you can see it, but I think this board is perfect if it's just like one person, two people, and you want like a little charcuterie board appetizer or 
just like a little snack, this is great. I also think this is great if you are throwing like a big house party or you're having people over and some people might, you know, have dietary restrictions. For example, one of my sisters is vegetarian and another one of my sisters is like allergic to all nuts. And I feel like nuts and meat are always on like big charcuterie platters. So this would be a nice like, here's our nut free board or here's our vegetarian board. And you don't need to make like a whole board. It's perfect for just one person. Um, it's also super cute. I just leave this on my counter like lined up with all my other cutting boards. So again, this would make such a great gift um, for someone who loves hosting, anyone you know who loves making charcuterie boards and whatnot. Um, but this one, like I mentioned, is sold out. So what I did is I actually found a very similar one from Easton Studio. So this is the Easton Studio Black Oval Marble Tray. It looks basically the same. I'm not sure sizing wise, what the size difference is, but this one is a little bit more expensive, so $61. Um, but again, just a nice tray to have for a mini charcuterie. Um, you can see on this one, I believe they have like pears sitting on there, um, decor. Honestly, marble trays, I think, can be used for so many different things, and they're just so, so aesthetic. And again, these are just like very neutral colors, so they will match um, most people's aesthetic and most people's home so you don't have to worry about getting something for someone and they don't like it because it doesn't match their space or they won't use it because it could just be decor they don't have to necessarily use it you know um and to go along with the like charcuterie theme i don't actually have this but this is the sagaform nature cheese knife set um so it comes with three cheese knives I believe in the picture you can see there's like one that's like a knife one that's like a fork and one that's a spreader um again I think it'd be so cute if you could get someone like a marble board like this one that comes with the cheese knife and also these um this cheese knife set on the side as well and maybe like a couple nice cheeses and crackers you know give them like a whole charcuterie set I think that would be such a cute gift idea, housewarming idea, really for anyone. Um, and again, these are things that people don't really buy right away, like right when they move into a new space. I feel like these are things that come over time. And so it's nice. I think it's nice to give someone something that maybe they don't have yet. They keep forgetting to buy because um, then they don't have to in the future. So I believe there's one more thing for the kitchen I wanted to share, and then we'll just get into the rest of the house. For those of you who are just joining, welcome to today's live stream. I'm sharing all home gift guide. Um, currently, I'm going through all the kitchen stuff, and then everything else I have to share is rest of the home stuff. Um, but you can see everything I've shared so far, If you or anything you've missed um, in the if you click on the icon with the four squares. Um, but yeah, this is the last item I wanted to share related to the kitchen and it is the Casafina Pacifica teacup and saucer. This color, I forget what it's called, but it's just like a white, like tan color. And I love it so much. And so it's, you have your saucer and your teacup and it just looks so cute. This would be perfect for someone who likes drinking their tea. You could get them the fellow stag electric kettle that I was shared previously and this um and it's just so cute to drink your tea or matcha or coffee out of this it's a perfect size um and it comes with the saucer so you can also put like little cookies or crackers here while you're drinking your tea your coffee whatever um i think this would also be cute i mean i don't really take baths but i think this would be cute like if you're taking a bath on your tray just to like sip some tea while you're taking a bath you know set the vibes um, what I also like about the saucer is that it does have this little rivet. So obviously the cup can like sit in there, but also if you have like a little like dip or a bowl, you could put it here and then put like crackers or you could do like ranch and vegetables or hummus and vegetables and pita chips. And that would be a great like little appetizer plate. Um, but I really love the color of this. I love the material. It is dishwasher and microwave safe, which is nice makes your life a lot easier. 
and it just looks so nice sitting here. I actually don't have room for this <laughs> in my cupboard, so I've just been leaving this out like on my shelf. Like it looks really nice sitting next to like a candle and some plants and you know, matches everything because it is that neutral color. And you can see here it was originally $25, but you can get it for $21.25. So great deal, great gift for anyone in your life who loves tea or who loves just cute mugs. Um, it really is, I mean, could be like three in one, two in one gift because you can, you know, use the tea with the saucer. I mean, the teacup with the saucer, you can use the plate just by itself. You can just use this by itself. You can do a lot with it and it's only $21. So that's nice. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, please just leave them, comment them, and I will try my best to answer. Um, but now I'm just going to move on to the rest of the items I have to share, which are all basically decor. So let's start with something that is such an easy gift to give to anyone, and that is candles. So I have three different candles to share. Two of them are by... Brooklyn Candle Studio. So this is the Santorini Escapist Candle, which I just presented to you. Unfortunately, it looks like it is sold out. Um, but just so you guys know, this is the Santorini Candle. It smells like fig, red currant, amber, and sandalwood. If you were in my live stream, I believe back in October, I shared this and kind of explained the scents. Um, but this one smells really good. Brooklyn Candle Studio is a small business based out of Brooklyn, New York. Could have guessed that. Um, all their candles are handmade. They're eco-friendly, responsible. I believe it is a woman-owned brand as well. Not 100% sure. Um, but this candle smells so good. And something else I love about the Brooklyn Candle Studio candles is that their jars are so pretty. And I know I've mentioned this in my previous um, home lives, but I love candles that have really nice jars because then when I'm done burning out the candle, I can use the jars for something else. So I'm thinking for this one, it's going to take a while for me to burn through this candle, but it is a clear glass and the rim is like not super sharp. So I'm thinking when I'm done burning through this one, I'll just clean it out and use it um, as like a drinking glass, which I think would be really cute with like the labeling and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's the Santorini Escapist candle. Unfortunately, it does look like it is sold out, but another candle... Let me find it. This one is in stock. It's the Brooklyn Candle Studio Neroli Noir Candle. Again, I love this packaging. It is a little different with like the matte black jar and the labeling right here. But again, smells really, really good. Um, I believe I'm so bad at explaining scents, but it's like an orange blossom scent. I believe that's what Neroli is. Um, and just super nice, like fruity, herbally scent. Um, I've only burn, burnt, burned it like once, um, but you can see that it was originally $35 and you can get it for $29.75. So definitely check out Brooklyn Candle Studio. They make such great candles, super aesthetic packaging and jars, and the scents are all amazing. Um, and then another small business that sells candles that I discovered on Fair Shop is Malibu Apothecary. So here's one of their candles. Um, this one is in the scent Laguna Beach. Um, so it smells like sugar and coconut and kind of smells like a pina colada. I haven't actually burned it yet. Um, but again, just a simple glass jar. So once I'm done burning through this, I'll probably just use it as like a drinking glass or a vase or just, you know, decor, which is nice. Um, and yeah, like I would mentioned, this one is the Laguna Beach scent, but I believe this one specifically that I just shared, the like clear gloss, I want to say it has like 10 different scents. It has a lot and I'm sure they all smell just as good. But this one specifically smells like pina colada, like takes you to a tropical paradise and is definitely a very um, summery scent. And you can get it for $28.90 with my live stream deal. So candles, I think, make a great gift. For anyone, I know some people are more sensitive to certain smells than others. So definitely make sure that whoever you're getting a candle for, they like you have an idea of what scents they like. Um, but I think candles make a great gift for anyone. I'm thinking of just getting like 
little candles for everyone in my family as like stocking stuffers, I think would be such a cute idea. Um, so to go along with candles, I also have a wick trimmer and a wick snuffer. So again, this would make a great gift. You could get them a candle and the wick trimmer and snuffer like whole set would be really cute. Um, but if you've been in my home life before, I talked about the importance of wick trimmers, which I only learned in the past year um, to trim your wicks every time you burn them so that you get the even layer um, of wax and so that it burns for longer. Um, this wick trimmer and candle snuffer I didn't find on the Vera Shop app, but the one I just presented to you by Floris Lane looks the exact same and you can get it for $6.80. So super great deal, super easy gift stocking stuffer idea. Um, I don't know anyone that doesn't have a candle in their home. So <laughs> like, I don't think anyone would object to having a wick trimmer. And then to go along with that is also a candle snuffer. Again, I did not get this one in Bear Shop. So the one I'm going to present to you, I presented before. It does look like it's sold out right now, but it is the Norman Copenhagen Pirouette Candle Snuffer. Obviously not the same. This one is just black with like a cylindrical snuffing part. I don't know what this part is called. Um, this one that I shared with you is gold and like the actual snuffing part is looks like a beanie or like a Santa hat. So it's different, but it is very cute. And I just think getting a wick trimmer and a candle snuffer and like a candle, like these three together would make such an easy gift to give anyone because everyone has a place to live and could use a nice candle in their home. And then obviously a wick trimmer and a snuffer to just help with candle care. Um, so, so far I, for those of you who have joined, I have shared all of like the kitchen related items and you can go back and see all of those in the icon with the four squares. Um, and then I just shared a gift that anyone could get, which are like candles and a wick trimmer and a wick I'm not wick candle snuffer. Um, so like a whole like candle set I think would make such a cool gift. Um, you can see the snuffer I'm sharing right now is by Norman Copenhagen. So that's a great segue into my next item, which is also by Norman Copenhagen. And it is the Norman Copenhagen salon rattan tray. I shared this in my coffee table styling live and I am so obsessed with this tray. So like I just said, I keep this tray on my coffee table. I typically have like some coasters on here, candle, and I also keep the wick trimmer and like candle set on here as well. And it's just so beautiful. Again, everything I'm sharing in this live is all kind of neutral, so it could really match anyone's aesthetic or anyone's style in their home. I love that this has, there's a lot of things I love about this tray. I love that it has the black trim, but then the lighter colored um, rattan caning. It kind of brings warmth into the space, also like a unique pattern. I also love the little like thumb, I don't know what you call them, like these places you could easily put your thumbs if you are carrying the tray around. Um, so many uses for this tray. Again, I just keep it on the coffee table, but I've seen people using this as like their morning coffee tray. So they'll put like coffee magazine or like a book and like bring it outside and read it on their patio um, or bring it outside and use it on their patio in the mornings or they use it for breakfast in bed. So many uses, such a great tray. I know it is on the pricier side. You can see it is originally $118, but the deal right now is you can get it for $79.90. So basically $80. So I believe there already is a discount on it. So you do get that double discount with my live stream deal. If you know anyone looking for a nice tray, if you want a nice tray for your apartment, um, just to like have as decor, um, I think this is such a great option. I think this style, like the rattan style is very in right now and I know it's trending, but I don't think it's really gonna go anywhere. I think it will stand the test of time. Um, and like, I don't think I'm ever gonna get sick of this tray. I might get annoyed with it on my coffee table, but I can always move it to somewhere else in the house. Um, but yeah, I really like this tray, highly recommend. I had mentioned this in my other live, um, but I wouldn't put like, a lot of things on here. I don't know how strong this is. Like I said, I just leave it on my coffee table. So I'm not like carrying it around with heavy things on it that could 
weigh it down and break. Um, but I have had it for a few months now and so far so good. So definitely recommend checking this out. Also Norman Copenhagen just as a brand has so many other cool items all kind of inspired by like Scandinavian designs and stuff like that. So kind of along the lines of the coffee tray because I mentioned I keep coasters on it. Um, and these are the coasters I have that I am obsessed with. These are the Parma Tile Shop Marble Coasters. I got it in the color Roman. It came in a set of four. I obviously only have two right here. Originally $48, you can get it for $40.80. Again, coasters would make everything here, would make such a great gift for someone who just moved um, or really anyone um, that like has a home that they're allowed to put things in, um, which I feel like is everyone. So these coasters I really like and I love that they're not um, like a pure white and that they're not perfect. Like there is texture to them. There are some cracks there. You can see like the veins of the marbling through it and it just makes them super unique adds character to my space, um, adds some dimension, some texture. I I didn't want, like, I feel like when I hear the word marble, and especially white marble, you always think of the super bright, white, glossy marble that sometimes you see on, like, kitchen counters. And I didn't like, like, I don't really like that. I like it for kitchen counters, but I didn't want it on my coasters because I don't want my coasters, like, drawing attention. I just want them to be super subtle and just kind of match the rest of the space and not add like anything crazy to the space if that makes sense but that's why I love these coasters so much they are marbles so they are I wouldn't say heavy but they are you know pretty decent um weight like you can tell that they're not gonna break if just by dropping it on the ground like you really have to try and break these which is nice because sometimes I can be very clumsy and drop things um but yeah, these are the Parmentel Shop Marble Coaster sets. They come in, I don't know how many other colors, but I know that there's like a dark gray, which I also really like. And there's a really pretty like forest green. I believe there's also like a pink color. So many options to choose through. You guys know I love my neutrals, which is why I chose this kind of like white tan color. And I love them so much. Um, obviously, I only have two here. The other two I actually use as... One of them is up on my dresser and I have perfume sitting on it. And the other one I use is just kind of like a candle holder. So I have it sitting on um, my counter in my kitchen with a candle on it. And I think it looks really cute. So speaking of the Parmatel shop, something else that they have that I love that I don't have is they call it a marble vanity. So it is just like a long tray. This is their white color. I believe it's called ice. Um, it is a little pricier, originally 140, but you can get it for 119. Um, I'm not sure the sizing of these, but again, I think this is so beautiful. Again, it's kind of like functional decor. Like you could just have this slab of marble just sitting somewhere, but you can also use it as a tray. It could even be like a mini charcuterie board tray to go with like the kitchen stuff. You can use it to put your perfumes on. Um, you can use it to put candles on. Um, yeah, I just really love everything the Parmatel shop has. So like the coasters and these vanities are like their two main things. And just thought I would share with you guys because I think that would make a great gift. So moving on, the next thing I have to share with you is this basket from Savannah Baskets. It's They call it an open weave vase. So I have mine right here. I've just been keeping like my laundry bags in it for now. Um, I had originally intended on using this as like a blanket basket, but I didn't read the measurements before getting it. And it is too small for my big fuzzy blankets. Um, but like it says, it is a vase. So I think I'm planning on getting like a nice potted, like tall plant for my living room. Haven't decided yet, but then I can put it in here because it is a vase and it is very beautiful. I believe these are all handmade um, in Africa. And I do believe that some of the profit goes back to like the person who actually made them. So that is a really nice um, organization. And we love things that kind of have um, 
a great mission and values and stuff like that. So it was originally $60. You can get it for $45.90, which I think is a great deal. I am always willing to pay more for things that are handmade or for things from small businesses, you know, stuff like that. Um, I will say it is, and I don't think this is a bad thing, like, and I'm not going to say flimsy because I feel like that has bad connotation, but you can move it around, which I think is nice because it can stretch a little if you have something that's a little bigger to fit in here. Um, but they also say if you get it in the mail and it's like dented in one spot, if you just put cold water on it, you can reshape it. So it's super easy to take care of. Um, pretty good size. Like I'm showing you, I had like my laundry bags in here. You can put toys in here, stuffed animals for a kid. Um, a lot of options for this and again would make a great gift it's like neutral and it would really match anyone's aesthetic um, but I am planning on using it as a vase like the title says um, and once I do whenever that is I will post a picture of that on my their shop profile okay so the next item I have is something I don't actually have but this is again something that is on my wish list this year and it is the Vitruvi Stone Diffuser in the white color. I love this white color. Um, I also love this stone diffuser. I think it's so beautiful to have in your space and a diffuser is just really good for your space. Originally $119, but you can get it for 101. So still kind of pricey, but I think it's worth it. I've heard only good things about this stone diffuser. And again, this isn't something people buy right away for their apartment or home. Um, so I think it'd be great to just get this for someone um, as a nice gift. It would look good in any space. It's not chunky. It's not like big. Um, and it looks super sleek. So I just realized that I am over time by a couple minutes, but I do only have one last thing to share. And that is this steamery pilo or pilo. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced. Fabric shaver. Unfortunately, it does look like it is sold out. And I believe I checked and that is like all the colors are sold out. Um, but it was originally $50. You can get it for $42. Maybe it'll come back in stock soon. Um, but anyways, this is the fabric shaver. I have been wanting one of these for a while because my blankets, my couch, my sweaters, everything pills up and it just is so annoying because I feel like that means it's the end of life and I have to throw it away like until I found out that these fabric shavers existed. So I got it in this gray color and it's so cute. It looks just like a little egg. It has these like indentations. So you can easily hold it and basically what you do, it has this metal, not metal, magnetic cap and then here's like the shaving part and then there's a power button on the top. I don't know if you could hear that but I thought I would show you guys in real time what this looks like. So I have a cardigan here that has major pilling. Let me find like a really pilled up spot. Okay I think this sleeve is worse. So I don't know if you can see all of the pilling. Not really. The lighting kind of sucks. But just trust me that there's a lot of pilling here. And basically what you do is they recommend doing this on a flat surface. So this is not the best way to do it. But you basically will just put this on, turn it on, and just use circular motions. And you'll see that it'll take off all the pills. So I'm just going to do that really fast. Okay, so I just did like a little portion here. And I don't know if you could tell how it was pilling before, but now the pills are basically gone. So I really like this fabric shaver. I need to just use it more often. Like it's going to take me a while to get all the pills out of that cardigan, but I definitely want to because I hate wearing clothing that has pills on it. And then I like am pulling at them and just shouldn't do that. Um, but I really like this. You can recharge it. It comes with like a USB cable to charge it. And then it's also just very easy to clean. Like you can probably see the pills in there and you just basically unscrew this and take it apart and like shake it over the trash can. So super easy to maintain, nothing too crazy. Um, again, would make a great gift. It's not really something people buy right away for their home or their apartment. And you don't really 
you don't really know you need a fabric shaver until you have a fabric shaver. I don't know if anyone else has one, but I feel like it's a game changer and it's so amazing. Um, but I know I've gone over my time by like five minutes. Um, so if anyone has any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will end the live stream here. Thank you for joining. I was really happy to share all of these home items with you guys. Um, and I hope you all have a great holiday season. I think my next live stream will be, I think I'm going to try and do two early next week just because I am going home um, next Thursday. And I don't know if I'll be able to live stream from home just because there's so many people there. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye out on the live stream page and my page to see when my next one is. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week and weekend and a great holiday season. Thanks, guys. Bye.